Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I did my last video, but um, I figured I should do a uh, follow-up with my uh, review of the M15X. I want to thank you for all the views. I um, just want to say I've had an absolutely 100% positive experience with this computer. Let's see if I can get the light on for you guys here. A um, couple months into the ownership experience, no issues at all. Um, one thing I've always had an issue with gaming laptops is fiddling with graphics drivers as new games come out. I've been playing every major game as they've been coming out from Bioshock 2 to Borderlands to pretty much all the major titles. Um, and no issues at all. I've been updating everything regularly. Uh, no stuttering. Um, about the only thing I dealt with was I had a little bit of an issue with audio um, popping and crackling. But this is actually caused on a lot of notebooks by uh, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's PowerMizer software that actually um, attempts to save power by um, doing all sorts of trickery behind the scenes. And in the end of the day, what it basically means is you're going to have skipping and whatnot in your audio. And very easy fix, courtesy of notebook review forums. You just download a piece of software and it'll, uh, it'll fix that up for you just toggles it off and then the issue goes away so that was the only thing I've dealt with other than that every game has been an absolute blast to play the machine continues to be um, build quality uh, perfect I mean there have been no issues as far as uh, like with my with the old M15X after a little while the hinge um, pretty much went to hell in a hand basket it fell apart and uh, that was not great. Um, there was no true fix for that. It was a design flaw. Um, but so far, this system has been rock solid. No issues at all, hardware or software-wise. And um, I am very proud to say to a lot of my friends who own gaming desktops, this is the most mobile gaming desktop I've ever seen. I uh, definitely would not recommend it if you think you're a good power user and you're going to carry your laptop everywhere. I would recommend the M11X for that, but that's in another review coming shortly. But this computer is not a laptop. This is a mobile desktop. It's 12 pounds and for all intents and purposes has no battery, which is exactly what I wanted because I wanted a true killer mobile desktop playing every game at the highest settings, which it does very, very well. Um, and I'd definitely like to say if you're on the market for a pricey, but well worth the money machine with excellent support from Dell uh, that is going to play all the games the highest settings this is the way to go a uh, couple months down the road again no issues I don't regret the purchase I still don't see a better product on the market um, I think it's a little bit behind the curve for those of you still looking now um, typically with systems like this I know a lot of people say you don't want to be an early adopter but one thing that happens is if you buy late into a product cycle, a refresh rolls around down the road, and then you don't have the latest and greatest, which bothers me. I know I'm weird about stuff like that. I know it doesn't bother everybody, but um, if you're not about the absolute cutting edge, definitely buy this machine. I'm just saying that I would have bought it a couple months ago, as I did, and not wait until now to start buying it. Um, because I definitely plan on getting something newer and more powerful, you know, in a year or so when, you know, the next generation of processors or GPUs rolls out and, uh, my computer is no longer playing everything in the highest settings. But for the time being, again, solid purchase, highly recommend it, no major issues, and, uh, thank you to Dell for making a great product and thank you guys for all the views thus far on my review. Have a good one.